hey guys welcome back to another video thank you so much for watching and today in this one I wanted to do a quick uh, remote jewel light test on my PC with my PSP and remote joy light is a program that took me several hours to install and it basically just captures the display of your uh, PlayStation portable console and it's working great right now for me uh, like I said it took me a long time several hours I would say three to four hours to install this I wasn't understanding the directions and I was reading uh, the post that I have up here on reddit and it was a good it was a good walkthrough and I like to read uh, the walkthroughs instead of watching someone's video because uh, most of the tutorial videos out there for like unlocking or hacking your PSP are just not that great and I would like to do a better job I, I think I can do a better job on uh, doing these tutorials but anyways uh, the remote joy light that one is pretty intense uh, if if you're not if you don't know how you know your PC works or whatever it's kind of it's not that difficult but you know you do something wrong and you might screw up something on your computer or or brick your PSP so that's very you got to be very careful when you're doing this kind of stuff but uh, I wanted to kind of update update you blah, I can't speak update you guys on what I want to do moving forward on the channel and also just kind of take a look at this remote joy light program which is pretty awesome and I'm super stoked on it I'm so happy that it's working uh, as you can see it's working flawlessly and uh, yeah it's it's going great now one thing I don't understand is when you load a when you're trying to look at your games they load very slow um, when you load a PS1 game like this one I have here, the Crash Team Racing or SNK, Capcom versus SNK, it takes a while for it to load. I mean, you can play it right now, like I can press X and play, but for some reason it takes way too long for it to display. Capcom like, there you go. Versus SNK. It's so cool, man. I, I've always loved the uh, animation and the background of this game. Capcom versus SNK. I've never played this game. The only time I played it was literally on the PSP. Uh, I played it several times, just like Street Fighter. It's a great game. And you can actually hear the fan from my PC kind of going a little higher because I'm recording and I have the uh, remote Joe light uh, displaying the PSP uh, screen. So. Uh, yeah, you can play the game. It, it's great. Uh, once I plug in my USB cable, it captures the screen. Like right now, it just disabled. It's going to go on and off. And it only works on certain certain modes. Like you can't show recovery mode. Uh, it works on the main screen, the CXMB. It works on PS1 games and most emulators and homebrew games. So... As you can see, it's now loading. It's pretty cool. It's it's really awesome. I, I love this so much, and I kind of got this whole like setup for streaming or whatever. I I don't know what to do with this uh, nice little setup I got here on OBS. Uh, maybe I can do some walkthrough videos. Uh, I know the Spyro games that I have posted from my PSP uh, very popular, and a lot of people like that. So. Let me go through this real quick. I'll play a quick uh, match here, show you guys how it is. And I actually got this this really cool audio uh, going on, uh, capturing the audio from the uh, PSP. Now that was one problem that Remote Joy has. It won't capture the audio from your console. And so when I first did it, You'll see some older videos where I um, I captured some uh, gameplay uh, from the PSP on some PS1 games, which is cool. And I did that through the Mac. And for some reason, on the Mac, it was able to capture all that, no problem. Uh, now, on uh, on the PC, it's a lot different. You know, uh, I actually have a mail-to-mail. 
audio cable connected from the PSP to the line in on the back of my PC. And so I, I messed around with my sound settings and I made, well, I actually just messed around on, on the OBS mic settings. And so I have it uh, capturing the audio from my console, my PSP console. And it's working just fine. It's it's pretty cool. I, I'm I'm digging this so much. It took me, I'm telling you guys, it took me a long time. I'm not watching anyone else's videos. When I make my videos, my PSP tutorials, I try to figure out myself. I don't want to like screw up anything. And occasionally, I'll try to see someone else's video to see what 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 they're doing. But most of the time, I really don't because they're all terrible. Um, I'm not trying to say anything mean or bad but I feel like they can do a better job and get better equipment to actually show you how to do these things right um, now that's what I like to do is to make the videos and make sure that everyone is up to date with you know unlocking and if you'd wanted to decide to get a PSP and unlock its full potential yeah, I hope I can like provide that kind of information to help you do that and that's pretty much my goal is to help people with this because it's so fun and it's great to actually have a system that plays retro games and I love these older games and, and uh, I just I just love it how I can connect it to my PS or PC now play it on the PC and then I can take it on the go if I would like you know uh, if I travel or something which I rarely do She looks like or did I lose? Did I lose? I think I lost that. What the hell is this? <laughs> That's weird. But yeah, as you can see, it's working great. I'm very satisfied with the outcome. Alright, so let's go back. And there's so many things I would like to show you. Um, for example, I just converted this old theme that I had. This is the, the theme that you're seeing right now. I hope it, it comes back on here. Um, now that's one problem that I have is that when you back out of a game, you have to restart, you have to execute the uh, the remote joy light application again there it is then I'll try to uh, whoops yeah it's just it is a bit of a grind to kinda put it back in its place um, I had it just right there but we'll just work with what we got here anyways this theme that you're seeing right here this is an Apple theme for like Apple desktop or or you know your iMac or whatever and this was an old theme from custom firmware m33 and this is like my favorite theme I love it so much and to see it on a, on a Sony PlayStation portable console is kind of funny and it's great it works just fine um, but when you update I did not know this. When you update to the new firmware 6.60, you're you're you won't be able to see the theme. And when you go into your themes, like I had all these old themes from the past, and they all said uh, corrupted. Now these are all the new ones. These are all the. I'm not a big fan of these newer ones. I don't I don't like them. These were released back in 2013. Um, but Apple Core. This is an old theme, and let me double check when this one was released. God, this was released a long time, back in 2008. And this was for 5.00 M33 custom firmware. And on my next video, I'll be showing you how to convert the old themes to your current firmware. So you can actually keep using the old themes onto the newer firmware that gets released. Now, this only goes up to 6.61. 6.61 6. 6. that's the latest and greatest right now 
for me, I'm not going to update it just because 6.60 is enough. I don't have to really go to 6.1. There's not really... Or 6.61. I got a tongue twister. Uh, there's just not a lot of difference to it. You know, If there was a huge difference, then I would obviously get it. But 6.60 is good for me right now. Pro C. Pro C is the latest and greatest for 6.0. And I do have a tutorial on how to do that in the links below, and you can check it out. And I'll be showing you how to convert the old themes uh, so you can use them on your newer uh, custom firmware, which is great. And I'm so excited about that, and that's going to be my next video because I think that's very important to let people know about that. And there's not a lot of videos out there that show you how to do that, and there's a great program on that. And yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I want to do, and that's just create more uh, content, obviously, and it's going to be based on the PlayStation uh, Portable Console, uh, tech reviews, unboxings, uh, thrift store finds, so many things I would like to do, um, just very limited on time, that's my problem, and I'm going to try my best to at least create a video uh, every other day that's my goal but I would like to upload daily that's my like main goal but if I can I'll do every other day or at least three times a week so that's what I'm trying to do right now and there's so many things that we could do like how to install the PS1 games I'm already having a lot of questions on how to convert ISO images or um, bin images uh, to convert them into eboot.pvp and that's the only way to read uh, PS1 games so thank you guys so much for watching this is kind of a random video a little ranty I don't even know if that's a word but uh, just a little rant not even a rant this is just more of like a random kinda talking about this really cool uh, program remote joy light so thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions please comment below and i'll try to get back to you as soon as possible take care guys and i will see you on the next one